Today we're going to be talking about what your ex wants. Now, let me ask you a simple question. Does this sound familiar? You're talking to your ex and he tells you that he isn't sure what he really wants. Now that could be referring to something as simple as the relationship between you and him or just life in general. He's constantly saying he isn't sure what he wants. What do you do? Well, that's what this video is about. Now, if you're even considering getting back with your ex-boyfriend, my biggest recommendation to everyone is to actually hop over to my website, www.exboyfriendrecovery.com and take my ex-recovery chances quiz. It's a simple quiz designed to tell you what kind of chance you have of winning your ex back so you know that you're not going to be wasting your time throughout this process. Now, if you're interested in taking the quiz, it's super simple. All you have to do is look in the description link below this YouTube video and click on it. Once you do so, you'll be taken to the quiz where you can answer all the questions and get an idea of even if you should be trying to get your ex back. Now, if you do that and come back to this video and are still wondering what your ex means when he's saying he isn't sure what he wants, you came to the right place. Steve Jobs was once quoted as saying that people don't know what they want, not until you show it to them. Now, I want you to keep that quote in the back of your mind throughout watching this video because it's really the mantra and the theme of what this video is about. My goal is to show you what we have found through our Years of research attracts men in general. So what is it? What are men ultimately attracted to? What do they want? What do they mean when they say they don't know what they want? Well, it actually, in all of our years of research, boils down to one simple thing. They want the ungettable girl. Yes, that special girl that combines beauty and brains and is always seemingly unobtainable. But the question you're wondering at this point is, how do you become ungettable? Well, this can actually be a little difficult to define because if you really think about it, each man will have his specific version of what the ungettable girl will look like. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder after all, but here's the interesting thing we've found certain patterns develop between these unobtainable women. These women that can make men all of a sudden interested. And I'm gonna tell you four of the patterns that we've noticed that ungettable girls have so that you can model your lives about them. Ungettable quality number one, the book versus the cover. For years, there has been this age-old debate of what matters more to men, looks or personality. So let me ask you a question. Let's say that you go into a bookstore and you're eager to buy a new book. The problem is you just go in and you base your purchase decision solely on the cover of the book. So you buy this book based on the cover, you read it and you hate it. So what is the ultimate thing that makes a lasting impression on you when you buy a book? Is it the cover of the book or the actual book itself? Well, in my personal opinion, what matters more when you're buying a book should be the book itself, the plot, the characters, all of that stuff that allows you to connect with the story. But interestingly enough, it's not the ultimate way that you make your purchase decision. In an ideal world, the book and the cover of the book will be amazing. But how often do we live in an ideal world? Now, personally, I have found that there is no better analogy than this book versus cover to explain the dichotomy between looks versus personality. Oftentimes, women obsess about ungettable girls and look at beautiful models on magazines. My response to them is, that girl is not ungettable, she's just pretty. There's more to being ungettable than just simply having looks. So what you need to realize about men is yes, looks matter, but personality matters just as much. Ungettable quality number two, stability versus mystery. As I began my business, I began to notice a really interesting trend developing among my clients. Those who were seemingly only stable but didn't provide enough adventure or mystery to their exes 
became boring. Now, on the other hand, those who were only adventurous and only mysterious but didn't provide enough stability to their exes also became boring. Now, here's the important thing that you need to realize. This is kind of the yin and the yang of being ungettable. Yes, you need to show your ex that you are extremely stable, but at the same time, you need to retain a sense of mystery and adventure and excitement. A lot of men will say, you know, there just wasn't enough chemistry there. Well, oftentimes when they say chemistry, they're talking about that mystery factor. How adventurous are you? How mysterious are you? How exciting is the experiences that you have together? What you need to understand is having too much of one thing, having too much of stability, for example, can become boring. And at the same time, having too much adventure and not enough stability becomes scary to exes as well. The ideal thing you're trying to do and what ungettable girls tend to do extremely well is balance the two, stability and mystery. Ungettable quality number three, first experiences together. When I explain this concept to my clients, they often are a little confused. So the analogy I always use for them is, imagine you're going into a movie for the first time. You experience it and love it. It becomes your favorite movie. In fact, immediately afterwards, you wanna see it again. So you do, you see it again for a second time. Now it's just as exciting, but it still lacks a little something. So you go and see it again. Again, it's good, but it's not like the first time you saw it. That's exactly how first experiences are. There's something that connects us with dating. When we go on dates, when you experience something with that person for the first time. It's not the same if your ex, for example, has taken you on a date that he's taken someone else on. He's not gonna get the same feelings for it that maybe you are or will be having if it's the first time you've been on this date. So what you're typically looking to do is to hang out with your ex or go on a date with your ex where you're actually experiencing something together for the first time. There's no better bonding agent or bonding date than doing just that because you're gonna be at maximum emotions and he's gonna be at maximum emotions as you guys are experiencing this together for the very first time. Ungettable quality number four, they leave you wanting more. Leaving your ex wanting more is something essential if you want to catch their interest. So how do you do that? Well, let me show you. 